people uh, were fantastic I heard they were passionate and, and proper boxing fans before I come up and they really were the uh, reception I got it was packed out there was 2,000 people there so uh, I was pleased with reception and I'm pleased I put on a decent show for him he was a good opponent a world-class fighter so I was a bit nervous before but I think I dealt with him pretty easily I thought I boxed with him myself uh, and I boxed nice in bits definitely like I dropped him in the third or fourth with a nice uppercut hook uh, then I went in to finish him and the bell went. Uh, so yeah, no, I'm pleased with it and uh, I'm just happy to get the 12 around. Uh, dealt with him nice and he's a good opponent to have on my CV. <laughs> no, he was a toughie. He was, he was a toughie. He took, he took some good shots. But as I say, he's only been stopped twice out of the 28 fights he's had. So I knew he's going to be tough and durable. That's what I need. I need the rounds. I need the experience. I need to fight these good fighters. I'm just pleased to get the 12 rounds out of the way against a good opponent and uh, move on to the next one, surely. Do you feel that that performance will really establish you on a world stage? 100%. As I say, he's boxed some great fighters, present and future world champions he's boxed. Uh, so I'm pleased to the 12 rounds. I'm boxed within myself. I boxed nice. It was really, at times, it felt like I was practicing stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, there was definitely a couple of gears left. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased with it. Picking up the belt, is that uh, the best way to finish for Christmas? Ah, oh, 100%. I can finish now, I can have a good week off, Jim's going to give me a week off, uh, I can have a nice Christmas dinner and then I'll be training over Christmas because it looks like I'm boxing in January, so uh, I'm not going to have a proper Christmas but a nice roast dinner, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Just, uh, just keep following this journey and uh, there's much more to come and uh, tune in, man, Channel 5, Mick Hennessy. James DeGargo and all the way, trust me.